You are who the internet says you are. And people are making decisions, customers are making decisions about you personally, about your personal brand. Hello, I've got Keen McLaughlin with me again. Welcome back, Keen. Hi, John. Nice to be here. Hey, Keen, I want to talk personal branding with you. Okay. I know you and I have both done a lot of work on trying to build our own personal brands. Yep. Uh, and I work with a lot of people out there, and I think sharing your story could be of value to some people out there. Okay. You've been a very successful salesperson working in the software industry, and now you've built your own business. I'd like to have you talk some of, uh, a little bit about some of your experience sure. in building your own personal brand and sure. what that's meant. Um, so yeah, I, I spent a long time in, in the, um, I suppose the, the tech industry, um, probably about 15 years before I stepped out and set up Trinity, four and a half years ago now at this stage. And I think it's interesting. My biggest issue when I stepped out was I felt that I was probably quite institutionalized. I'd been used to working in organizations where, um, content came from marketing or from product marketing. Um, that was where you expected to get your insights and then that became the sort of the default information you used to for the conversations you had with customers and to, to base your, your insights on. Right. All of a sudden that was gone. Um, I had no marketing department. I was working out of my third bedroom um, and, and I had to become self-sufficient. Um, and so I had to start thinking for myself um, and I had to start forming my own opinions or remembering the opinions I'd had in the past or testing those assumptions. And so that's what I began to do. I began to, to read much more widely. I began to spend time thinking and writing about some of the topics that I was passionate about. Okay. Now, you're saying when you're in the corporate world, in the software in environment, you didn't write much? No, not at all. I, I really didn't. I mean, what I wrote back in those days was tender responses and proposals and that sort of thing. I wasn't writing about the topic of of sales or you know b2b engagement or anything of that nature and it probably hadn't even occurred to me to do it and i think maybe four and a half years ago was it was around the time that these things were starting to become a little bit more mainstream mm -hmm. um not that many people were blogging in their own right uh, in a corporate context back then but increasingly that has become uh, more and more of a mainstream trend okay so now you've been doing and i've, yes. read, I've read some of your material it's absolutely amazing you're a brilliant writer thank, thank you, you can so what, have, what, what, what else have you done in building your personal brand? So, so I did a couple of things. Uh, you know, I started to write a blog and, and um, I started to read um, content and magazines from, from all around the world which related to, to my topic. And then I actually reached out to the editors and said, look, I, you know, I enjoy your content and I'd like to contribute if, if you think what I have to say is valid and of interest to your audience. And in many instances they came back and said, yeah, we'd, we'd, we'd love to take your content. So I broadened my reach in that, in that way. Um, I contributed uh, as an author to uh, to a book that became an Amazon number one bestseller, and then more recently released my own book, Rebirth of a Salesman, late last year. Brilliant book, thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much. Um, and 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 just looked at different ways to get my my thoughts and my opinions out there to challenge the status quo, to to participate in a conversation, and also to provide useful content to, to the, those individuals in my network and, and the people who I'm connected with on LinkedIn, followers, etc. And the way I read it, you've built a very credible personal brand. People see you as somebody of credibility, of value, and, and it's all because of you doing everything you've just mentioned. Well, I mean, I get some really nice feedback when I speak to people about the content that I write and also the content that I curate that's been written by other people because I only share what what I personally believe in and what I, what I think will be of interest. Um, and what that does to some degree is it does elevate the perception of your knowledge and when you write a book, it, again, there's a, there's a perception that you know what you're talking about or you've taken the time to do that. Um, and I think maybe that's one of the interesting elements to it. It's taking the time. It's, it's you know, being consistent in what you do. Not, not saying the same thing over and over again, but being consistent and, and being a voice out there. Now, the question I'd like to ask you next is something you haven't done, and that is create a personal brand as a salesperson in a corporation. Yeah. But if you were back in a corporation right now with what you've learned and what you've done, how would you do it differently? Well, I think the first thing I'd say is I would do it um, because what I've observed in, over the last four or five years is that <clears throat> you are who the internet says you are and people are making decisions, customers are making decisions about you personally, about your personal brand, which is almost a personification of the vendor you work for. So, so if you Google me as a, as a customer, rest assured I'm going to Google you as well. I'm going to go to LinkedIn certainly and I'm going to look and I want to see what your profile is and if your profile is just a CV then that turns me off straight away because 
Why aren't you adding more content? Why aren't you speaking about your customers? Are you engaging in groups? Are you having a meaningful conversation about topics which are relevant to you? And if you're not, why Relevant not? to the customer. Yeah, well, relevant yeah. to the customer, but also relevant to, to my industry. So, mm -hmm. so I'm looking at you and I want to see that you're, um, you have an opinion. I want to see that you're out there expressing yourself because I'm going to join the dots and I'm going to say, if you're doing that in your own personal context, then you're probably going to do it when you engage with me. And if you're not doing it equally, how are you going to, how are you going to service me as a customer or prospective customer? So take it to the next level. Are you suggesting that salespeople and consultants should write, they should publish? I, I'm suggesting that in certain instances that's absolutely appropriate. Um, you know, it, it's not a black and white issue because a lot of organizations have their own social media platforms and they have their own social media policies and they don't just let everyone in an organization speak on behalf of the company. So there's a, there's a, it's a quite a gray area in terms of am I, am I representing the company, am I representing my own individual opinions? And so you have to understand that. But I think that's an issue for a lot of corporations. It and is. I, and they, they, in, in some examples I've seen, I think they need to empower their people more to be able to write because you're absolutely right. When the customer looks up, and they do, yes. looks up the salesperson on, on LinkedIn yep. and they see nothing there, where's the value? Where, where's the reason, the credibility? If the salesperson has written something of value that the, that, that the customer sees as value relevant to them, yeah then they're much more likely to give credibility to that sales If person. they've written, if they've um, done some video, if they've shared some tips, if they've commented on other content. You know, there's a myriad of different ways to be present and to be out there. But if you're not doing any of those, then when you stand up in front of me in a, in a presentation or a demonstration, all I've got to judge you on is the very, very limited piece of information I've seen on the internet. And, and your credibility hasn't been established in advance. And so if you're not doing a really, really good job of establishing that credibility in front of me in the room, you're behind the eight ball and you're certainly behind some of the other people who are coming to talk to me. Hey, I really, really value your experience and thank you for sharing it. I think the audience will get a lot of value out of that. You're very welcome, John. Thanks, Thanks for having Ken. me.